Our next speaker is Ellen Osmondson. She is leading the Innovative Learning Technology Initiative for the UC Office of the President. Good, uh, good morning, everybody. It's nice to be here. Thank you, uh, all the speakers that have uh, presented already. Fascinating ideas, and it's wonderful to be at the Crest Conference again as a participant rather than a worker. Um, <laughs> lots of interesting ideas. When I was asked to um, uh, present, uh, give a Teddy talk, I was hesitant because typically, the, these talks are funny, and I'm definitely not funny. And the other problem is that the data that I have to talk to you about that re uh, relate to uh, my current position focus on things like um, time to degree, uh, uh, acceptance rates at UC, budget and finance, and that didn't seem to be a good fit for what this conference is really supposed to be about, teaching and learning and understanding how to use data in ways that inform practice and uh, policy. So I decided to uh, move to the context instead of um, a learning, a course that, that uh, the project that I'm working on funded. It's called uh, Literacy, Individual, and uh, Societal Development. It's a course that's taught online. And the goal of the course, really, it's offered to, to undergraduates across UC. And it attracts students from 70 different majors. And the idea is that in this context of the online learning environment, that students learn how to uh, construct meaning through the use of artifacts and the use of a digital asset library. Some of the artifacts that come from that, this is a, an example of what the landing page looks like for the course, um, and students are required on a weekly basis to submit, uh, create and submit uh, artifacts to the asset library. I'm going to show you a couple uh, examples of what that looks like. Um, Students are conducting, are constructing ideas that relate to how they view themselves in the world. They respond to prompts that provide information about uh, three uh, examples of what literacy is like, metaphors for learning. They use whiteboards as an opportunity to pull artifacts from other, that other students have constructed in meaningful ways. So rather than just relying uh, exclusively on items that they themselves have created and generated, there's an opportunity to collaborate. So you go to a whiteboard space and pull in artifacts that other students have created and generated in a way that demonstrates both that you have your own understanding of the concept, but also that you're able to collaborate with others and bring those ideas and represent them in a new way in a new space. Um, this is an example of whiteboarding where you can see two different um, students' notions of language and how it develops. Um, there are also opportunities for reflection. What does learning look like inside? How do we learn literacy? What does it mean? How do we use these assets in ways that are meaningful to represent knowledge? Opportunities for commenting on others' work and um, additional whiteboards. These are other assignments that students have created. What are the data from uh, the back end that are generated? What are uh, uh, faculty looking at? What are instructors looking at to make sense and make meaning out of, of how students are constructing their knowledge in the course? This is one example of the use of an asset. Um, and from it, um, uh, instructors have information about how widely used is an asset that a particular student is developing. Is it included in other, the generation of other materials? Are there are other students referencing it in their work? So rather than relying on a sing, single ed indicator of how student learning is progressing, there are multiple ways to understand how student knowledge is growing and developing within a course. Um, some of the other more interesting profiles that are emerging and representations of knowledge and data look like things like this. And this would show a particular construct and space of how knowledge is represented and the different axes represent ideas that are present and concepts that are being taught in the course. Um, uh, data 
also are generated in terms of what the profile looks like. How, what are assets that are being used? How are students uh, participating in the course? Are they logging in? Are they signing in? Are they contributing? Are they commenting on other, uh, on other students' works? Um, this final slide shows what knowledge as, uh, for an individual looked like at the beginning of, um, uh, of the course, where it's distributed, uh, a not well-organized or cohesive sense of how literacy is constructed. Over time, an individual's and group learning develops so that you can see that there are shifts and changes in both the shape and the way that the information is organized inside it. Um, towards the final, more interesting and more geometric portion of the, of the um, representation that shows peaks and valleys, connections that provide different ways to look at how learning is organized around the concept of literacy and how it's developed both individually and collaboratively within a learning space. Um, the uh, information about the course and an opportunity, I'd really like to be able to take you inside it and show you what it's like to be a student in this particular course as you develop, uh, as you would have opportunities to respond to prompts and think about how to uh, more effectively both display what you know, what you understand in um, the online learning environment. If you have questions or like the, an opportunity to try out what it's like to be a student in the course, let me know. And there's my contact information. Thank you.